What's up everyone, as you can see here, we have successfully booted our Ghost Spectre Windows 11 Super Light on our Ro Ally. So, as you can see here, our command center or the ASUS system control interface are working perfectly along with the Armory Crate and the ghost specter toolbox is working perfectly fine the ghost specter toolbox is an exclusive toolbox pre-installed on the ghost specter windows 11 os now to proceed you'll be needing these requirements to successfully install the ghost specter windows 11 on your rogue ally so first you'll need two usb with at least 14 gigabytes of storage and then you need a usb hub and also of course please get a mouse and keyboard now first get your usb with a ghost specter bootable usb and your usb hub let's insert our us bootable usb to the usb hub and it is also recommended that the usb hub has a or must have a usb type c port for your charger to ensure that your rogue ally will have a battery while installing the windows now for this you'll need to press the power button and simultaneously tap the volume down when you see the republic of gamers logo just simultaneously tap the volume down until you see the bios menu or the bios settings of your rogue ally so here we have successfully booted to our bios settings here you will only need to change one setting under boot priority so you'll just need to um, change the boot priority from windows boot manager to the uefi as the top priority of your boot then change the settings click a to confirm your changes Once you save your changes, your rogue ally will automatically reboot. Just wait until it boot into the Ghost Specter installer. Now, this time you may want to connect your mouse and keyboard. If you notice, you have four options at the bottom of the screen. Just click the first icon or the Windows icon to start the setup. Now as you can see here, you have the usual setup when you install a Windows on your laptop or portable devices. So here you, I recommend, we recommend to select the Ghost Specter Super Light version of the Ghost of the Windows 11. So just hit proceed and select custom for a fresh install Windows 11 on your rogue ally. Now after installing the Ghost Specter, it the Rogue Ally will automatically um, reboot to the system. So during the first boot, it will require you to enter a password or make a password. But you'll also notice that you cannot change the name of the administrator, but you can change it later. Just um, hit next and then input your password, enter your password. Um, it is also important to take note that during the first boot, um, it will require you to restart your device. Just um, click restart and then open again the rogue ally now we have successfully booted into our ghost picture on our rogue ally but if you'll notice our wi-fi isn't working accurately this is why you'll be needing the second usb to install the rogue ally drivers so now just get your second usb with all the rogue ally drivers i will um, be providing the link on where to download the rogue ally drivers now copy all these installer the drivers to the desktop of your rogue ally so once um, copied on the desktop just install all these drivers with no 
particular orders and then once installed once all are installed just proceed restart now to reinstall your armor crate and your system control interface or the command center you'll be needing wi-fi or internet connection for this and a browser so to download and install a browser you can open the go spectre toolbox and then select number 14 to download the google chrome just um, input 14 and hit enter then input number one to proceed to download and installation of the google chrome to your rogue ally ghost specter as you can see here the google chrome icon pops up on our desktop just open the google chrome and then search for rogue ally drivers and then choose the first um, link or first option and then from here just make sure the bios you select the bios under bios you select the rc71l and then your os is windows 11 scroll down until you'll find the sys software and utility and then choose show all and then just scroll down until you see the asus system control interface and the armory crate just install these two installers just download these two installers to your um, rogue ally there are um, two asus system inter control interface you can choose either of these um, either of these will actually work so after downloading just install the two installers Now after installing the armory crate and the system um, control interface it will prompt you to reopen the um, armory crate just um, reopen the app and then set it up like new. Now you have a fully working armory crate and a system control interface or the command center on your rogue ally with a ghost vector windows 11 super light. By this time, you can proceed and install all your games on your rogue ally and enjoy.